For many people like myself, I was today years old when I found out that Catherine Zeta-Jones is not Latina, but a Welsh actress. And that matters a lot. As I dig deeper, I saw that this fact created a lot of outrage and had a lot of people's panties in a bunch. But I must say I do agree with the critics. There was petitions made when people found out that she wasn't Latina. And you're going to understand as we get deeper into the video. And there's also some other controversies that happen with the Me Too, you know, you can't say these things on YouTube. But with her husband and the whole throat cancer situation, there's just a lot to unpack here. But I have to set the stage for you. How did this Welsh actress fool Hollywood for so long and take on a persona and a whole culture right before our very eyes? How did she get her start in the industry? We have to go back to the very beginning, which is her childhood. We will get into all of that and more, but first as always, we'll discuss some of her beauty secrets, fitness routine, and a few of her favorite things as always, so we can understand the essence of who Ms. Jones is and how her beauty has afforded her so many luxurious opportunities that not too many have been blessed with. But first, hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Lude, where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars in history. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so and turn on your notifications so they never miss an upload. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with her beauty secrets. Now Catherine Zeta-Jones has been in the spotlight for decades and it's no secret that she possesses a timeless beauty that has left us all intrigued. Fans all over the world are interested in knowing what her beauty secrets are and how she's been able to maintain her ageless and flawless look. In this video, we will discuss everything from her fitness routine to her favorite foods, her fashion sense, hair secrets, and impact in the beauty industry. There has been much speculation over whether Catherine Zeta-Jones has undergone plastic surgery. However, the actress has always denied these rumors and her stunning look suggests otherwise. While some reports suggest that she's had minor procedures such as lip fillers and Botox injections, there's no concrete evidence to back up these claims. Ultimately, her amazing looks could be attributed to a combination of good genes, a healthy lifestyle, and an excellent skincare regimen. What is her fitness routine? Catherine Zeta-Jones is known for her enviable figure, and it's clear that she's dedicated to her fitness. She was an avid dancer when she was younger, and she continues to incorporate dancing in her workouts to this day. She also regularly practices Pilates and yoga, which helps her maintain her long, lean muscles. She's also known for her love of outdoor activities such as hiking and horseback riding writing, which keeps her body active and toned. What are some of her favorite foods? When it comes to food, Catherine Zeta-Jones is all about keeping it fresh and healthy. She's a fan of organic fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Her go-to meal includes grilled salmon, quinoa salad, and roasted vegetables. However, she also indulges in the occasional treat such as dark chocolate or a glass of red wine. What is her fashion sense like? Catherine Zeta-Jones is undoubtedly a fashion icon. She is often seen sporting timeless and elegant pieces, such as a classic little black dress or a tailored blazer. She has a love for vintage fashion, which is reflected in her red carpet looks. She is a fan of sleek and sophisticated designs from brands like Versace, Armani, and Chanel. And her hair secrets to maintain in her shiny and healthy mane is regular haircuts, a good diet, and above all, proper hydration. She ensures that she drinks enough water throughout the day to keep her hair moisturized and hydrated. She also uses a range of high quality hair products including shampoos and conditioners to care for her tresses. Catherine Zeta-Jones impact in the beauty community is undeniable. Her timeless beauty and elegant style have inspired countless women worldwide to embrace their natural darker features in beauty and take care of themselves. She's been a role model for many and her approach to beauty has always been to emphasize the true beauty that comes from within. Some of her favorite things, Catherine Zeta-Jones is an avid collector of antiques and is known to spend hours browsing antique markets. She also enjoys cooking and has even published a cookbook featuring recipes from her Welsh heritage. Some of her favorite things include spending time with her family and pets, reading and watching classic movies. She's also a patron of numerous charitable organizations and has been honored for her philanthropic work. Her favorite color is pink, so leave a pink heart in the comments for her. Now let's get into her childhood. Catherine Zeta-Jones, the stunning Welsh actress, was born into a humble family on September 25th, 1969. Her dad, David Jones, was the owner of a candy factory and her mother, Patricia, was a talented seamstress. Her family had Irish Catholic roots, which gave her a diverse background. Despite her humble background, Catherine was born to be a star. As a child, she was a bit of a handful and was hyperactive, to say 
say the least. In an effort to channel her energy and creativity, her mother enrolled her in the Hazel Johnson School of Dance when she was just four years old. From that moment on, Catherine's love for performing took center stage. Throughout her childhood, Catherine turned to performing arts as a way to express herself. She participated in stage shows from a young age and her rendition of a Shirley Bassey song won her junior Star Trail talent competition, which led to her achieving local media attention. Her dance troupe regularly went on trips to London and Catherine used those trips to audition for roles in theater. Catherine's passion for performing propelled her to the big leagues. At nine years old, she bagged her first major role as July, one of the orphan girls in the original West End production of the musical Annie. Catherine's glamorous career didn't stop there. In her early teens, she even became a national tap dancing champion. And in 1981, Catherine played the lead role of Annie in a Swansea production of the musical at the Swansea Grand Theater. Two years later, she razzled and dazzled as the lead role of Tallulah in a West End production of Bugsby Malone. At 15, Catherine left school without obtaining her O levels and made the brave decision to go to London to pursue a full-time acting career. Catherine was able to make her mark in the industry because of her incredible work ethic. She queued up for auditions and then changed her costume or put on a different leotard and auditioned again. So she would often audition twice. Her dedication paid off and she always managed to lend a job. Catherine's family had nothing but praise for her. They supported her passion for performing and their fortune improved when they won 100,000 euros in a bingo competition. They paid it forward, allowing them to pay for Catherine's dance and ballet classes, and they just invested in their daughter's talent. Catherine's childhood was one filled with passion, determination, and creativity, and her family's support and encouragement played a massive role in her success. And although Catherine came from a modest background, her talent and work ethic propelled her to international fame and success, making her a true star in her own right. Now, as far as her career, Catherine Zeta Jones is more than just a pretty face and a big bust, okay? She's a bona fide Hollywood star with an illustrious career to boot. First off, it's worth noting that Zeta Jones has won some major awards in her time. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the hit musical Chicago, which was one of my first, in The Mask of Zorro, of course, as well as a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for her work in A Little Night Music. Zeta Jones has played some pretty memorable roles over the years. She starred opposite Sean Connery in Entrapment, held her own alongside Antonio Banderas in The Mask of Zorro, and played the iconic Velma Kelly in Chicago. Comment below your favorite role from her. She's also proved her versatility by taking on diverse roles like a drug lord in traffic and a bipolar chef and no reservations. But why did Zeta Jones feel the need to start over in Hollywood? As mentioned earlier, she was tired of being typecasted as the token pretty girl in British films and felt that her public image was overshadowing her talent. By moving to America, she was able to start fresh and prove herself solely on merit. Has Zeta Jones played any controversial role? Yes, very much so. We will talk about that later on, okay? So what do Zeta Jones' peers have to say about her? Well, Michael Douglas, her husband of over 20 years, has called her the most talented actress I've ever met. High praise indeed. And director Steven Soderbergh has described her as a smart, funny, and always up for a challenge. It's clear that Zeta Jones is respected and admired in the industry. But... With that comes a lot, right? So let's talk about some of her controversial roles. Catherine Zeta-Jones, Welsh actress extraordinaire, is receiving a lot of heat for playing Latino roles. And it's not just your average Twitter rants either. It's not the typical cancel culture, right? We're talking about full-fledged online petitions, op-ed pieces, and reputable news outlets and heated debates on television talk shows. Why is everyone so upset, you ask? Well, my dear friends, let me break it down for you. First, Hollywood has a major diversity problem. I mean, it's not exactly news. We've heard it all a million times before. But the thing is, that's not just an issue with the number of roles available to people of color. It's also about the representation. When people of color do get roles, they're often reduced to harmful stereotypes or one-dimensional characters that serve only to move the white protagonist story along. So when a white actress like Catherine Zeta-Jones comes along and takes on a role met for Latina women, it's problematic. It perpetuates the idea that Latina women are interchangeable and that their experiences and cultures are not unique or important enough to be portrayed accurately on screen like you can just switch up your accent and you know put on outfits and then boom you're a latina woman the welsh actress addressed criticism over the roles whitewashing in an interview with entertainment weekly saying this is just the way i see it and people can't take what they want from it 
I am a Welsh actress who doesn't happen to look like what you think someone from Wales would look like. I have my own language, I speak Welsh, and so for me to wait for a role that, that is fit for the way I look physically, that is not a Welsh role, where I don't use my accent. I never use my accent. Have you ever heard me use my accent that I'm speaking with right now, end quote? No. And which is kind of shocking if you hear her speak, she speaks in like a British accent, which stunned me. I was expecting like a Salma Hayek accent, right? Now, are you going to turn your back on Britain and go to Hollywood? Are you going to leave us? I want to go out there for a while, yeah. Did the press really annoy you in Great Britain? They have done, yeah. There's been a lot of things that have really annoyed me. And is that... But I, I refuse to comment, which which makes them, you know, go... Makes them worse. Crazy, yeah, so... It's my own fault. Good morning, senor. Give it back. What? Whatever it is you have stolen from my father, I want it back. Give it to me. <clears throat> I have had the proper instructions since I was four. But she pointed to previous roles in which she portrayed Hispanic women while defending her portrayal of Blanco. She said, this happens to be the third Hispanic I've played, Zeta Jones said. I've played the lead in Zaro and I screen tested with six Hispanic women and I got the role. I don't know what to say and I was a complete unknown at this point. It wasn't because I had a name or box office value. Four of the actresses are my contemporaries to this day. I played a woman of Spanish descent in Traffic as well, she added. I have to take the roles I believe I can embody. I can't be the person to fight against a very big issue and I won't take on that role. However, the star did add that she is all for diversity and wants to see more people of color behind the camera. In the film's trailer, Zeta Jones portrays a ruthless Blanco with a thick accent. People have expressed their anger online about the casting choice. And let's talk about that accuracy for a minute. One of the major problems with white actors playing people of color is that they often appropriate entire cultures without truly understanding or respecting them. It's not just about the accent or the style change, right? It's about the entire persona. When a white actress plays a Latina woman, she's taking on a history and culture that is not hers to own. She's using it for her own gain without having to face any of the actual discrimination or struggles that come with that identity. And when she puts on that accent, she's perpetuating hurtful stereotypes and generalizations about the entire Latina community. Because not all Latin Americans or Latinas have that thick, heavy accent, right? It's almost like disrespectful, right? The issue goes back a long way in Hollywood history. We've all heard of blackface, where white actors would literally darken their face in order to play black characters. It was incredibly offensive then, and it's still offensive now. But the thing is, whitewashing, which is what we're talking about here, is just as harmful. It's just a little more subtle. Instead of darkening their faces, white actors and actresses change their accents and appropriate a whole culture selfishly for their own gain. And yes, it's still absolutely disgusting. Look, I'm not saying that Catherine Zeta-Jones is a bad person. I'm not saying that she's actively trying to harm the Latino community. But what I am saying is that her decision to take on roles meant for Latina women is harmful. And you might not understand if you're not Latina yourself, right? So a lot of people oftentimes like to make excuses for the artist that's not in that culture. So <laughs> you tell the people why they shouldn't be offended, but you're not them, right? So it's not up to us to decide if it's offensive or not, right? Right, okay, now that we're all on the same page. It perpetuates harmful stereotypes. It ignores the diversity within the Latino community and it pushes actual Latina actresses out of the running for those roles. And if we're ever going to achieve true diversity, especially in entertainment and representation in Hollywood for all people of color, that kind of behavior needs to stop. And her response kind of rubbed people off the wrong way. Like, hey, it's just what we do. I take on the roles because I look this way. It's just kind of like, okay, but you had to do the accent though. I don't know, comment below your thoughts. But let's move on to a lighter note. Let's talk about her marriage. Catherine Zeta-Jones has had a long and wild ride when it comes to relationships. From dramatic breakups to marital scandals, she has certainly had her fair share of spice. So let's grab some popcorn and dive in. Before Michael Douglas, Catherine had a few relationships. She was first linked with actor Ingus McFay and then with John Leslie, who was a British television presenter. Let's talk about the Welsh beauty's marriage to the legendary actor Michael Douglas. The couple has been happily married for an impressive 20 years. Yes, you, you heard right, 20 years. That's a long time for Hollywood years, right? 
two decades of wedded bliss, but it hasn't always been sunshine and roses. The couple has had their fair share of scandals. In 2013, Douglas made headlines when he remarked during an interview that he believed his throat cancer was caused by contracting HPV, uh, which is a centrally transmitted disease. This naturally raised questions about his faithfulness to his wife. However, the couple stood strong, with Catherine fully supporting her husband during his battle with cancer. But the drama doesn't stop there. In the wake of the Me Too movement, Michael Douglas was accused of, you know, harassment by a former employee. While Douglas has denied the allegations, it has certainly added another layer of complexity to their marriage. Journalist and novelist Susan Brody said that Douglas, you know, pleasured himself in front of her during a writing discussion at his house in the late 1980s. During their time working together, she said he made lewd jokes and comments about her physique. At the time, Douglas issued statement, a statement in which he referred to Brody's claims as an unfortunate and complete fabrication. After 18 years of marriage, Zeta Jones told the Sunday Times, my children and I were profoundly devastated by those allegations, and I couldn't decide which moral ground was more important to me. This woman came out of nowhere and accused my husband, Zeta Jones continued. I had a very big conversation with him and with the kids in the room and said, do you understand if more comes out? Zeta Jones acknowledged the paradox of her situation to the Times. She's a Me Too supporter who believes women generally when they come forward with accusations, but when it came to her husband, she does not believe these particular allegations against her husband. It was a really hard position for me, and in the height of it all, it was nasty, she said. To say that these scandals didn't take a toll on Catherine would be a lie. She opened up to the public about her mental health struggles, revealing that she had been diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder. She spoke candidly about how her husband's cancer battle and legal issues had affected her. But through it all, Catherine and Michael have persevered. They are still going strong after two decades of marriage, proving to the world that love can conquer all. In conclusion, Catherine Zeta-Jones has had a relationship history that could easily be made into a soap opera. She's been through the ringer, dealing with infidelity, cancer, and accusations of, you know. But through it all, she's shown remarkable strength and resilience. Her marriage might not be perfect, but it's inspiring to see a couple stick together through thick and thin 20 plus years in Hollywood, right? Mm. But I want you guys to comment below what you think. There was a lot of things I wasn't expecting, you know, with Catherine Zeta-Jones, because I always admired her, but I must admit that I didn't know too much outside of her movies because she did seem kind of like an enigma and very mysterious and private to me but the more I dug I was just like oh I don't know you know I want you guys to comment your thoughts below what do you think she's so gorgeous to me so beautiful but I want to see your pieces your think pieces in the comments I love you guys so much thank you for tuning in and don't forget to leave a pink heart in the comment section if you watch until the end and if you like the music that you listen to in the background the link is in the description until next time